We're here at the Global Forecasting and Marketing Conference, and I'm talking with Kim Korth, who just spoke to attendees about the automotive industry outlook. Kim, thanks for talking to us. Looking forward to it. So first of all, you said it's still a great time to be in the automotive industry. Right. What are some of the drivers of, of that continued strength? Well, you're obviously seeing the industry continue to grow. Uh, you're ending up, which is unusual compared to 10 or 15 years ago, where the OEMs, the Fords and the General Motors are making money. Uh, the consumer is willing to buy uh, upgraded product, so on average you're seeing 2 to 3 percent per year price increases going to the end consumer. And as a result of that, that means there's money in the chain to be able to pay the first tier suppliers and have everyone sort of do well in this industry. And so how are consumer choices going to affect the manufacturing industry? I mean, everyone wants to customize their vehicle correct. these days. Yeah, correct. Well, and I, I think it plays very well, obviously, for, for this industry because it's the whole concept of mass customization as people want to have it their way right. uh, from the standpoint of what the car looks like, what, whether they want to have portable electronics that come into it, the ability to take a vehicle that's sold in North America, sell it in South America, but change it enough so that it appeals to the local uh, uh, population. That's going to be a continued driver of that uh, increased ability to offer specific choices to that consumer. And you mentioned some OEMs are really investing and growing within the United States. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what should manufacturers take away from that? Well, I think the thing which uh, I, I believe your, your group thought was not true is that manufacturing is not dead in North America, obviously. <laughs> We're becoming one of the low-cost production locations in the world, mm -hmm. uh, particularly if you include Mexico, which is certainly a, a market that is accessible uh, to your members. And so I, I think from a manufacturing perspective, you're going to see more and more investment. And you also have had a period from the late 2000, I would even argue from the mid-2000 period, there weren't reasonable investments made in capital equipment. And now not only is the industry growing, but they've got older equipment that they need to replace. It's starting to become more of a differentiator if you have better uh, ability to do some of those higher level activities. Mm -hmm. So it's going to drive, I think, a lot of capital spending. So one interesting thing that you talked about that's new for the industry is autonomous and semi-autonomous mm -hmm. vehicles. Right. What impact are they going to have? Well, I think, uh, and again, a year ago, no one had really talked about it much right. other than Google Car, and people kind of looked at that as being sort of a, a funny little thing that Silicon Valley was doing. Mm -hmm. But by 2016, you've had most of the major German manufacturers, you've had several North American manufacturers announce that they will have technology on their vehicles where there are periods of time when you're driving down the highway Way that you can take your hands off the wheel, wow. which is huge when we didn't, weren't even talking about this a year ago. Mm -hmm. So the, the ability to be able to offer what I term semi-autonomous and autonomous vehicle is potentially going to change the way a vehicle is designed, the way it's put together. Uh, so there's a lot of change that's going to happen as a result of that. And tell us your outlook for the next two or three years. What should we keep an eye on? Well, next year, and we would agree, a, a consensus of people looking at the North American industry would be probably another 4 to 5 percent increase in production, mm -hmm. which would put you north of 17 million units, which we haven't seen in a, in a very long, long time. time, arguably almost ever. Right. And uh, there are some forecasts that are showing it going as high as 18 million uh, in 2016 and 2017. I think that's a little bit optimistic, mm -hmm. but uh, we clearly believe that it's going to be a very strong market, at least for the next two to three years. Well, that's great news. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Whitney Brown for IMTS-TV.